Hello, May Flom here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a fun, quick, and easy project featuring the Scan and Cut DX230D, the Disney model as it's known. This summer we're staying close to home, however, I do want to document memories, things that we do, notes, journal, etc. So utilizing a small notebook and notebook cover, I'm going to use my Scan and Cut to customize these and decorate them so that they are ready for my summer memories. The first thing we're gonna do is just take a look at your size, take a look at the colors you might wish to use. And for heat transfer vinyl, you're going to be utilizing the material side up, the transfer sheet down. We'll talk about that more in a moment. And then we'll do sticker vinyl for the inside. So let's start with our cover. We're going to pick a design. There's so many built-in designs in this machine, especially the Disney ones are my favorites. And you have a lot of choices. You have a lot of options. I'm thinking Tinkerbell for a little bit of summer magic would be just perfect. On this screen, you can resize. Reminder that you can also resize in the edit screen once we have selected. Now again, you wanna measure, make sure you know what size your journal is, what size you're working with, so that you are not making too large of an image. Once you have sized this down, you're going to press that OK button, and that will bring you into that everything you like, everything, everything's happy. You can bring it into your screen and move it wherever you would like within your mat. And you're going to go to Cut, and with our material, we are going to want to have that material so that the transfer sheet is down. And the reason is because we're going to cut the material, not the backing sheet. So we want to be aware that the shiny side, that is actually the transfer sheet. And the dull side, that is the adhesive. That is the iron-on. And we want that side up. Now going into our tools, we want the half cut on because that will ensure that the material cuts, but not the backing, not that transfer sheet. And then once this is done, we're going to weed. In other words, remove the material from around. Now quick tip, you can absolutely cut close around your image and you can save that excess vinyl that you did not use and you can cut other designs from it really super great way to reduce the waste of any vinyl product. You're going to want to move nice and slowly around your image and just remove anything that you don't want to iron onto your journal cover. Once this is done, you are ready to place it and then you are going to want to put a cloth covering over. This just makes sure that you get, you're pressing and getting a nice even iron, but you're not going to burn or harm the transfer material or the iron-on material or whatever it is that you're ironing onto. It just acts as kind of a buffer. And then once you have done that, you're going to go ahead and test. If it is not all the way transferred, you're going to set it back down, set the sheet back down, press again. If it is all the way transferred, you're good to go. Here you can see me with my cloth. Any fabric will should work. And then pressing with my iron and repeating until done. Now you want to remove this carefully, as I said before, you wanna be careful because if it has not fully transferred, then you will want to place that transfer sheet back down and iron again. Now I've got one little spot there that looks like it did not fully adhere. So I am, as you can see, just going to put that back down, put my cloth back down and iron one more time to be certain. With the cover done, we can move to the inside. And now we're going with sticker vinyl. This is a product that is made by Brother that's available for purchase separate from your machine. And I've got a six by six square and I've got my little notebook here. And my thought is I will do something for the cover, but I'll also cut a few extras. And the reason I'm gonna do this is two different reasons. Number one, I always like to use as much of my vinyl sheet as I possibly can to reduce waste. And number two, this is gonna give me little stickers that I can later use while I'm journaling or if I give this to my children while they're doing their little notes and journaling and adding their stories in, there'll be a few little stickers already pre-made and it's a great use of material and of your scan and cut. Going on to our machine, we are going to go into our little Mickey screen once again. 
and then we're going to select whatever pattern we might like and you can go I mean there's so many different ones you can go all around there's a lot of really great ones as you can see I'm going to pick a striped Mickey head and the reason for that is I just want the stripes and this particular pattern it cuts two different pieces it cuts the solid Mickey head and also separately the stripes and things like this are great you can use the full pattern but in this case all I want is the stripes for my cover so I'm going to go ahead and set that and as you can see if I'm looking at a six by six square I have lots and lots of room for more so I'm going to go ahead and pull more in I'm going to bring in that a pattern which is the solid Mickey head and I can resize it I can add additional I can do a lot of alterations here to make sure you can see I go into object edit and I've decided to resize it smaller and I also want to make more of them and then I can move these around as I see fit around my machine here around my screen and then I'm going to go into pattern and let's pick some stars or some hearts or something else a basic shape and make them small and make a number of them and again what this will do is it's going to give us a place to work for it's going to give us extra little details and remember once we've selected we can go into edit object edit and increase the number if we wish to have more decrease the number we can resize we can do all of that within object edit and then we can also use the tool now see i'm having a little bit of a problem there because that's such a small item and sometimes that happens where it kind of gets stuck because it's so tiny so if that happens, you can use those arrows to select the thing and then also move it so that if it's just being a little bit stubborn there, you can get things moved still. I love those tools as well if you're trying to work in a close area where you just want certain things. Now we are half cut again. We are half cut again because we're just doing the vinyl. We don't want the backing or the sticker backing to cut and you know what this is just an absolutely great way fill up that vinyl use those little nudge tools to bump things around get your vinyl on there and then guess what the scan and cut is going to cut these stickers out and we will be ready to roll so once these stickers are cut out we will want to do the same process as we did for the heat transfer vinyl we want to go ahead and weed out any of the vinyl that we do not want i've also cut these apart so that they will fit into my notebook so that they can fit into the little pockets that are in there since that is where I want to keep them and you just carefully lift everybody off and off we go the next step will be to transfer because those little stripes those are not going to transfer well by themselves as a sticker so those little stripes we want to transfer those onto a transfer material and then press onto our cover. This will transfer the sticker exactly perfectly as you see it. That transfer material is available for purchase separately and it's a wonderful addition so that you can very easily move your stickers from the backing sheet onto the projects. And if they get stuck or if they don't quite go, just press again and repeat until ready. I love it and of course we've got our stickers that will be inside that we can add inside the journal as we go and I've got a magical adorable little project here I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial be sure to subscribe to the brother YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos idea and inspiration with the scan and cut